Hey, what's going on, Eagles fans? This is Ariel Bedford for TCC Athletics here at the Softball Complex with the TCC Lady Eagles after their last doubleheader here in Tallahassee versus the Chipotle Lady Indians, splitting uh, both contests, winning game, losing game one by a final score of 8-0 and pulling off game two, 2-1. Two to one. I'm here with the hero uh, for game two, uh, Brooke Marandino. Congratulations on your great effort out there. Thank you. Now, uh, can you tell me a little bit about... Uh, Essentially, just overall, what this last homestand meant for you. Obviously, some of your uh, your fellow sophomores, and uh, kind of what it meant for you know this being your last time that you're going to be able to step out here. Um, I mean, we've had a lot of supporters like in the fall and spring, so just like being able to come out and show off to them was like our top priority. But we had to win the second game because if we lost, if Pensacola keeps winning, we weren't going to go to state, and that would hurt our sophomores because some of us aren't recruited yet and we're not committed, so we need like as many games as we can get to go to states and um, get as many looks as we can so we can move on. Right. So. Right. Um, that's actually a very good point, Brooke. Now, obviously, game one got a little bit ahead of you guys, but, you know, to be quite honest with you, you know, playing against the defending national champion, sometimes those things happen. Let's focus a little bit on game two. After you guys were able to put a couple runs on the board, there were a lot of situations where Alexandra Cook, your pitcher, who obviously got the complete game, w w was kind of in a jam. Um, for example, in the top of the first, uh, there was a situation where you guys had the bases loaded, unfortunately, with only one out. Um, and, you know, Reagan was able to get an RBI single and basically have you guys um, only up one, uh, two, one at that point. What was the mental process? What were you guys thinking about out there uh, when they were kind of like, you know, getting you guys in a lot of trouble out there? I mean, we had just came from like a tough loss and I just don't think our heads were in there like completely. Um, it's hard to like bounce back when you have a game right after a game that you just lost. But I mean, we knew that we had that game. We had to have that game. So I think like once we scored our first two runs, I think it was like this, I don't remember what inning it was, but um, I think we knew we were going to win that game if we just played our defense. Right. Now, you really, in, in my opinion, offensively and defensively, were a catalyst in game two. What were you specifically thinking to yourself, to, you know, as far as being instrumental in you guys really, you know, not, you know, losing the lead and kind of, kind of holding on to it? Um, I mean, it was my last home game. I wanted to show out. I like to, you know, show the talent that I have. You know, I have my parents watching at home. I had all my friends in the stands. Um, and I just, I did it for the softboard. I did it for myself. Um, and I just like to prove people wrong. Sometimes you doubt us. If, you know, we did just lose 8 zero. So I just wanted to go out there and show out and, you know, make people smile. Yeah. yeah, well, you definitely made me style, uh, smile out there with some of your play. In the sixth inning, you drew a walk after another patient at bat, um, which was kind of like a, a, a calling card for you uh, uh, tonight. You had a lot of patient at bats, and then obviously uh, the phenomenal snap that you had for the last out. Uh, can you take me through that actually play that you made out here in left center? Um, I just remember it was two outs, and I'm like, okay, we got a runner on one. We need to get this last out. We've lost two games uh, so far this conference in the last inning, so I was like, we're not losing this game. Um, and the ball was hit. I, I mean, she hit her spot, so I knew it was going to be an inside pitch that so was going to go somewhere left center. But, I mean, I wasn't expecting to go that far, but yeah. I just put the wheels on and got it. Yeah, B.B. Santos made, made great contact on that play, so, I mean, uh, all, all that speed that you have uh, was needed in order to make that play. Now, uh, obviously, the uh, Alexandra, she ended up with the victory with the complete game. Um, Elisa Cachetti, your teammate, as well as Blair Madison, also had two hits each on the game. Considering the fact that you guys weren't necessarily able to go yard today, it was a very nip and tuck close game, what do uh, winning games like this, what does this do for your confidence as, you know, now pretty much from, from here on out, it's going to be mostly, you know, road games as you try to fight your way uh, to Bureau Beach? Um, I mean, it's a great win, you know, we beat Chipola. I think they're second in conference right now. Um, I mean, it just builds our confidence up, you know, like we know we can do this. Um, now we have a game, we have Pensacola, we swept them before, we're going to sweep them again, and then we split with Gulf Coast last time, and I feel like we could sweep them. Uh, we played them away this week, so, I mean, we got to just get them next game. Yeah. Well, congratulations on Thank getting you. one tonight <laughs> and, uh, and everything that you did out there. Thank you.